Hey guys, I'm Colwyn. Got another Transformers video for you. I got Transformers Thrilling 30, uh, Generations Thrilling 30 Gold Bug. He is a straight repaint, remolded, re different head of the Thrilling 30 Bumblebee. And he will transform into like a science fiction out Camaro. Let's go ahead and bring in my comparisons. We have Film Noir Spider Man. We've got Scourge, Soda Can, and I've got Hubcap here. Um, Thrilling 30 Bumblebee here came out, I want to say, in 2012. So he's going on easily a 10-year-old plus figure right now. Um, our accessories, let's go ahead and talk accessories. I really have no idea what these are supposed to be. You'd think they'd be like some type of arm shield things, but there's no arm. But there's no arm peg ports for him. He can hold them and wield them like, like swords, kind of. Or in the instructions, they actually show you to do this with them. Peg them together and hold them out like a blaster kind of gun thing. I really don't get these. I find them useful on other figures, not so much him. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those off to the side and we're gonna pretend they don't exist and just look at gold bugs straight on. I didn't really care for the yellow bumblebee version, but I like the gold. For some reason, the gold hits better for me than the canary yellow. The backpack is, yes, most of his car mode just scrunched, his car mode roof and hood just scrunched up there, but it's a clean backpack. And I wish the wings would come off his back, not so much his shoulders, because then it gets all weird. But if you can, if you want, you can bring the wings down to be like, to be like hanging armor. And that's really what I like to do. This, for me, this isn't, this isn't Bumblebee. Alright, for me, this is random golden warrior, and I give him the sword from, from my extra um, R.I.D. bludgeon, and I like the way that looks. He's not Bumblebee to me, he's random golden samurai warrior, and that's how I get around having a mold I don't care for. Uh, light piping, can you see... How bright that light piping is. Oh, no. There is no light piping. Because it's all painted over. Wonderful. Uh, he does have a swivel head. His shoulders are universal shoulder, universal jointed with kind of a up and down butterfly joint. You can get him to, to cross his arms, kind of. That's cool to do. He's got a swivel at the elbow, then an elbow joint. Nothing at the wrist, unfortunately. Oh, okay. There's ports down here in the bottom of his arms. I've actually never seen those before. Do they work for his... Okay. Okay. I have just discovered something new. But they're loose, and they fall out easily. I'm going to go back to ignoring those weapons. He does have a waist joint. But it kind of gets interrupted by the backpack a little bit. Uh, bull jointed hips at the hip swivel. Very nice, huge knee bend. But it's like it's a really floppy, loose knee. So be careful with that. He does have bull jointed ankles with another swivel down there. And that's really more for transformation. But like it's still, it's there. And I like how they molded another tire into the foot. To give some extra weird detailing and stuff. But then that means he's got tire in each foot, a tire on the back of each leg, and a tire on each arm. He's got six tires all together. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Unfortunately, one issue is that his chest here does not want to peg together very well. So it's always coming loose on you. But hey, that makes him easier to transform. Let's go ahead and take his arms and straighten them out. And um, these slots on the arm are going to kind of go around this little tab right here in that black panel. 
So that's how the arms get lined up. Come down here to the feet and straighten the feet out to where he's on his tippy toes. And then this is kind of weird. You got to take this whole panel and slide it inwards. Or rather, you got to slide this panel outwards. Depending on how you want to. There we go. And clip that all together. Take the legs and. Come on. Tab together. Tab together right there. Oh, no, they're not going to stay together for right now. Okay. Come up here to the chest and push the whole chest straight up. He has this long sliding torso thing going on here. Bring the arms up over his shoulder, over his head. And then bring the hood down in between and clip that together. And you can see how he's getting this nice sci-fi Camaro muscle car look going on. You got to sneak those tabs underneath the shoulders. So, like, okay, if anything, bring down the hood first, then bring the shoulders up. Come on, get out of the way there. Like that, and clip it all together. Then, take the legs here, and sneak the foot underneath the roof. You might want to open the side of the car panel. Oh, no, the car panel door is not going to want to open up for that. But sneak the foot underneath the roof, and then line things up and clip it together. And if you don't push these panels apart on that internal slider, they won't tab together right. And then we can close the door up. And to show off storage, we will go ahead and bring in the weapons I ignored before. And there we have him in his vehicle mode. I like the way that looks. Okay, so we've got Goldbug in vehicle mode. Let me go ahead and stand him up and bring in Film Noir, Spider-Man, and Soda Can. I can bring in the car robots. It's nice to see. It's interesting to see the scale holding up between 10 year old figures. We've got Scourge and we've got Hubcap. So Goldbug here, or 30th Anniversary Bumblebee, transforms into a kind of a slicked out, sci-fi exaggerated um, Camaro. I like it. It's got good, sharp, bulky, angry, muscly lines. I just didn't care for him in that color yellow. The weapons, I could do without the weapons. So, like, he doesn't really need them. I put them with other guys. I like it. It's a fun-looking vehicle overall. It's got the clear windows. It's got the nice black lines. Yeah, there's some robot junk underneath, but it hides it fairly okay. He rolls fairly well. I like the mold. I prefer it in gold. Maybe you'll prefer it in the canary yellow. Check them out. It's a fun vehicle. I'm Colin. Transformers 30th Anniversary Thrilling 30 uh, Gold Bug. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.